yeah what do you think about this do you think you're gonna buy this day one when you can it's a tiny little game gear a new <laughs> um but hear me out hear me out it's uh sega announces a palm-sized game gear micro console which is a uh, very dope very japanese but we'll get your take on this gavin so uh, the original article is from ign Sagan announces the palm-sized Game Gear Micro Console. Jordan Alleman has the article here. A set of palm-sized Game Gear Micro Consoles have been revealed as part of Sega's 60th anniversary celebrations. The Game Gear Micro is currently only available to pre-order in Japan and will launch on October 6th. At time of writing, there have been no views, no news of a Western release for this device. So this, uh, this fun-sized device will offer a headphone jack, charge via USB, and use two AAA batteries for power. Sega is currently offering a promotion where if you buy all four variants of the Game Gear Micro, you'll receive a special big window accessory that magnifies the screen while you play. The console will retail in Japan for 4,980 yen, which roughly equates to $50 US. So there's four different models. They're all different colors too, and they come with different games. So one of them, the black model comes with Sonic the Hedgehog, Puyo Puyo 2, Outrun, Royal Stone. The blue one comes with Sonic and Tails. So they're kind of spreading all the Game Gear, the, you know, the 10 Game Gear games that were cool along all these uh, different releases. Uh, the yellow one has Shining Force 1 and 2, uh, Na Nazo Poyo. The red one has, let's see, Columns, GG Shinobi, Megami Tensei Gaiden. Um, yeah, what do you think about this? Do you think you're going to buy this day one when you can? It's a tiny little Game Gear? A new. <laughs> um, but hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. Um, so uh back when i was trying to learn how to speed run uh super mario brothers um i had i'd i'd found a limited edition uh game boy micro i probably still have it there it is so i've purchased uh this son of a gun oh nice um, there was a u.s version of that too right remember that uh, seeing those uh there may have been yeah um but yeah so this is small but this is bigger than the uh the Game Boy Micro. Um oh, okay. And while this feels at first like it fits pretty well into your hand, um it's still like just keeping your hands like this uh wears just wears on your whole hand after a oh, while. Sure. And it's not super comfortable. Um the tiny screen is a problem. Um so that's an issue. And this game, Game Gear Micro, is smaller. Yeah. So you've smaller. taken what's already a rough design and made it smaller. Like there's, I, I it's kind of shitty, but it feels like there's a reason why the screen enlarger uh, is only with the extra spendy edition or whatever. Right. Um, and then as people online kind of pointed out, like them, these games are so small, at so astronomically small. Um, so. When they spread it out over four different units, it's kind of just like a cheap cash grab. You could fit on a like little micro SD, you could fit so many games for super yeah. cheap. Um, so spreading it out over that's kind of crap. Um, and it's going to be uncomfortable. So, oh, oh. and it's it going to kill like your it. eyes. <laughs> so there's, there's too many issues. Maybe if it were slightly bigger, if it was as big as that. But it's neat that it's almost the size of like a keychain. Yeah. Um, it's it's nifty, it's cool. but you're right. If you're gonna be expecting the best uh, way to play the Game Gear, if anyone's really you know hungry for the best way to play those Game Gear games, it's kind of not the best way to do it. But it's kind of it's just like a neat thing. But maybe charge a little bit less because it's fifty bucks per each one of those. So, um, but yeah, it's very strange to see that they kind of quietly announced that that this is something only in Japan right now. But I'm assuming this is coming to the states for sure. Right, right. Well, I mean, I think it's gonna depend on how it does in Japan. So it's, that's true you know i find interesting right. so the original game gear has it was like six double triple double a batteries so with the current technology in 2020 we got it down to two double a batteries like can we not get anything more efficient or better than that like jesus it's better than the 20 batteries whatever it took but still come on charges via usb and uses two triple a batteries i have mine here still too there you go yeah, so it, it had uh, three on each side. But those were double A's. These are triple A's, the smaller ones. Oh, they are? Okay. Yeah, no, actually, this is, yeah, this is double A. So it was six fucking double A batteries. Jesus. For right. the honking monster. We're lucky they weren't D's. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> doubt it. It's just a backpack you put on and you plug it in like a Ghostbuster, but yeah. <laughs> Instead of 
Still the, the coolest boot up noise ever. Whenever you hear the Sega. Oh, well, yeah. So fucking cool. You feel it right in the right in the heart. It's just it takes you back for sure. <laughs> you can still like hear the reverberations like shaking the speakers for everything they're worth. <laughs> yeah. So it was yeah, kind of a nifty toy thing, but um a little strange to bring this thing back to life the way they're doing it with this Game Boy Micro, but yeah, I guess uh, now's the time Game to Gear kind of... Micro. Yeah, Game Gear, right? Yeah, Game Gear Micro. <laughs> Sound like my mom or something. I'm gonna buy you the Game Boy Micro. No, mom, it's a Game Gear Micro. Get it right. And I throw that my being said, I the one thing I really liked about this when I was riding the train is the fact that like having buttons is so good. Like, and that's why like playing on a 3DS or whatever, it's so much better um, than playing on a on a phone. Uh, right. I really miss that tactile uh sensation it's kind of too bad that like playstation phone thing didn't take off better when it had the the whole oh uh, yeah it was like a psp phone was it the xperia or something like that that sounds right to me i bet (laughs) you're right i i think that's right it was something like that but i do remember that yeah yeah if that kicked off and people are using like the 3ds style like nub pads you could have like awesome like you could be fortnite and twice as hard it still (laughs) blows my mind that people can play Fortnite on their phones that game's got a million buttons i can barely handle it on my on my desktop right uh but i mean you got these kids who can build up muscle memory in half a second uh fortnite's their second language (laughs) yeah they're failing in class but they got an a in fortnite for sure (laughs) hey you got to be cranking m90s that's That's true as the kids say (laughs) 